block. Forever? Word spread fast today that Chipotle Mexican Grill may be suspending the sale of guacamole and that climate change is to blame. The company says rising temperatures could drive prices way up and make it just too expensive to buy the 97,000 pounds of avocados they go through a day. But you won't be going through withdrawal just yet because there's no word on when or even if the green stuff will be pulled from the menu. Here in the Bay Area, global warming may not be the only thing local restaurants and home cooks have to worry about when it comes to guacamole. Our Bill Logan has the details, new at 5. Google guacamole guy and the internet will lead you to Winter Haven and Sergio Cruz. Uh, and I do work a lot with Florida avocados. I make a uh, homemade guacamole uh, based with Florida avocados only. I do the picking, the process, and the making, the selling, and everything. In and around his home here, Sergio's been able to create a name for himself, gathering what we Floridians refer to as alligator pears from his neighbors in trees like these. That is until this season when his crop crumbled under the weight of an almost invisible insidious insect. That's why you don't see it. It goes right through the bark and it fits right through the tree. Within three weeks of the first bite, the tree's dead, and Sergio said there's nothing that can stop it. 80 to 90 percent of all the avocados that I picked last year, they're completely gone. They're dead to the ground because the ambrosia beetle bug. So his locally sourced guacamole won't be as plentiful, but he says the larger scale farmers in South Florida are still hoping their crops come in okay. Unlike what we're hearing out of California, where the weather has farmers from San Diego to the Central Coast calling for a lighter than normal crop. That concerned Chipotle, whose investors were alerted that the supply and demand cycle could impact their bottom line. It should be noted, though, that none of the restaurateurs I talked to today say they're going to be taking this off their menu. It's every year. The, the price of avocados always, every year, goes up. Here at Poblano's in Brandon, where Haas avocados are used for their prepared tableside guacamole, the prices they pay are at a premium, and the fruit isn't as good. You gotta hand pick each one. You know, and sometimes you're, you're having to wait on 10, 15 avocados that are not quite ready to be used yet. But they aren't going to take it off the menu. Of course, neither is Chipotle. In Brandon, Bill Logan, ABC Action News.